ओके इज इट इम्पोर्टेंट टू विजिट फैमिली मेम्बर्स येस इट इज़ रियली इम्पोर्टेंट टू मीट फैमिली मेम्बर्स बिकॉज आई थिंक फैमिली डिफाइंस आस एंड फैमिली इज वट सपोर्ट्स आस एंड स्टैंड विद आस इन एवरी सिचुएशन हावर आई थिंक दिस सेल्फलेस बॉन्ड only stays if we remain in contact with each other only stays if we remain contact in contact with each other however i think this selfless bond only stays in contact with each other what are the values of family in your country i the think the main values of family in country are respect of elders and prioritizing their needs of the family over our individual need that is why in india we think you know we rather in i फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी वो ना ओन आ हाउस वी ओन हीज कार दिस कार आई डोंट रिमेंबर आई डोंट थिंक वट इज ही सेम ओके द थिंक द मेन वैल्यूज ऑफ फैमिली इन इंडिया आर रिस्पेक्ट फॉर एल्डर्स आर रिस्पेक्ट फॉर एल्डर्स एंड प्रियोटराइजिंग द नीड्स ऑफ द फैमिली ओवर आवर इंडिविजुअल और Why is family bonding necessary for happiness in life? Family bonding is necessary for happiness because it gives us secure. It mean it. I I mean it makes us feel that we are not alone. There is someone behind us. Okay. Do you think the support from a friend is different from the support from a family member? I think certainly yes. Of course, there is an element of selflessness in family relationships which I feel is missing when it comes to support from friends. Also, it does not create a burden. what i mean is uh, we do take help from friends but then it also makes us feel that uh, we have uh, to repay it this feeling does not come in the case of family i don't think yaar what he is saying i think certainly there is an element of selflessness in family relationships which i feel uh, is missing when it comes to support from friends also it uh, does not create a burden okay what kinds of people are easy to get along with okay i think people who are friendly and outgoing are easy to get along with i think most of my friends are calm and accommodating for example when there is a change in the plan due to an emergency they understand rather than complain okay that's good uh, i think we are able to get along with the people with whom we do not have to be formal okay how do leaders get along with their subordinates i think it really depends upon the type of leader some people are formal and try to have a formal relationship with their subordinates both at the office and outside other are too friendly and have a very casual and friendly relationship with their uh, or others who are formal while at work but outside the office they interact with them like friends formal and friendly formal and friendly okay and then i got do people have time for <clears throat> themselves nowadays i think it depends on whether people are self employed or working for someone in self employment a person can have as much time for themselves as they want when working for someone it depends upon the job but many people are forced to work for long hours and people find it difficult to find time for themselves Uh, i think it depends on whether on whether uh, people are self employed or working for some in self employed person can have as much time for themselves as they want when working okay do you like working with older people why okay i can't say i like talking to every old person but i do like talking to my maternal grandfather maternal maternal Uh, he has a lot of stories and i love listening to him tell us stories about the past he has taught me many valuable lessons through his stories this was all about the questions describe a time you visited a new place okay let's start about it in next video